Okay, so we've been sitting out here about, I'd say 45 minutes. I, I got their predicted weights evaluated on my hand. That's Boris, he's not available. We have Truffles right here. She is available. She's puppy number four on my website. And here, and we've just been doing all kinds of things out here, haven't we? We've been cropping pictures, taking pictures, um, cutting nails, blowing off steam. <clears throat> Excuse me. They were way crazier when I first brought them out here. And they're quite calmed down now. This one's puppy number 13. She's the oldest one and the smallest one. And Ginger, are you hiding? Huh? Ginger. They kind of freak her out. <laughs> Ginger. I'm keeping Ginger. Yeah, I decided I'm keeping her. I was kind of offering her for sale, holding her back. And I really couldn't decide because I wasn't sure she was gonna be big enough and she is, she's perfect. Absolutely perfect, like you boys. Okay, and then we have number three right here and her name is Tika. Not to be confused with her brother who left here about a week ago named Tico. That's where I got the name from. She got used to hearing Tico and I thought, oh, Chica Tika. Okay, and then we got, uh, this one here is just all over me. I already showed you her. Yeah, I did. Puppy number, oh, and Tika's puppy number three, she's available. And this one is puppy number four, available. All right, I'm gonna stand out, that's Truffles. Right. Oh gosh, you guys, they just, they love me so much. They really love their mama. <laughs> Don't you, and do you guys love all the people that you meet too? Sure you do. Yeah, they're sweet, they're very sweet. <laughs> yes, Tika, you yeah, little Tika. Okay, who do we got? All right. Come here, guys. We're gonna be going back in. Your puppy playtime's almost over. Yeah, it's almost over. Your puppy playtime. I know that upsets you. I know. Mama has, um, she has consideration for your needs. That is what your mama has. <coughs> yes, Boris, I know. Boris, you bark just like your mama. <coughs> just, just like your mama. <coughs> Hopefully, you're not afraid of boxes like your mama, because she hates boxes. I even, I know it sounds mean, but I put her in a box and then put the box inside of a box. And I, I did it for like, I don't know, five minutes, because I was trying to break her and make her not be afraid of a box. And I had you know, like treats in there. She didn't touch the treats. <laughs> and it didn't help her. She does not, I don't know what to do to break her. I'm pretty good with dogs, but when it comes to Ainsley and boxes, there's just no stopping her. She hates them. Hates boxes. Where's Ginger? Ginger, what are you doing over there? Are you overwhelmed? Ginger? She's, some dogs they, and puppies, they just, when they see the camera, they just don't, it's like they don't want it to do with it. Kind of like a box. They see a box and they don't like a box and they don't like a camera. Yes. Oh, and I am going to have um, a litter, two, actually two litters, hopefully. It looks like they're both pregnant. And they are going to be due around the end of October, beginning of November. So we will have more puppies and more puppy playtime. Um, I did say I was semi-retired. And to me, semi-retired is just not having as many litters. So I had a quite a long break here. My youngest one is like 14 weeks old, 14 and a half weeks. I haven't had a litter born that whole time. So that's what you call semi-retired. When you love to work and you love your job. All right, video's long enough and we're gonna say bye. <laughs>